The best part of haunted houses and amusement park rides is getting to see your friends screaming in terror. To get good pictures of this, they use camera rigs with automatic controls. In this project, I'm going to show you how to make automatic camera switches to help you capture priceless moments like these. First, you need a way to connect your camera to an external circuit. If you're fortunate enough to have a camera with a built-in shutter switch terminal, then this is really easy. All you need is a connector that matches the terminal on your camera. There's a link in the description box to a good reference page put together by Luke Panic that shows the various connector types. For example, my Canon Rebel uses a 2.5mm stereo plug. The sleeve connects to ground, the center ring activates the focus function, and the tip activates the shutter. To activate each function, you just need to connect that pin to ground. If your camera doesn't have a built-in shutter switch terminal, you may be able to add one. To do this, you need to add a few connections to your camera's shutter button. First, remove all the screws and open up the outer housing. Be careful to avoid the camera flash capacitor. It can hold a charge of several hundred volts even after the batteries have been removed. Locate the camera's shutter switch. It should have one terminal that connects to ground to activate the focus, and one terminal that connects to ground to activate the shutter. To be able to activate these functions remotely, you need to solder additional wires to each of the terminals. You should then be able to activate the shutter by connecting that wire to ground with a switch or a transistor. If you aren't able to connect to the shutter switch, then you still have the option of using a motor to press the button for you. You can do this by mounting a servo above the shutter button so that when it turns, it presses the button. There's a link in the description box to a couple of make videos that demonstrate how to do this. Now you need to make a control circuit. The simplest way to activate the shutter is with a momentary switch. This can be anything that connects two wires together. You can use a limit switch, a pressure plate, or even a trip wire. The best way to control the camera electronically is with a microcontroller. To connect the microcontroller to your camera, all you need is your connector cable, a short jumper wire, and a small diode. Insert the cathode of the diode into one of the digital pins of the microcontroller, then insert the jumper wire into one of the ground pins. Connect them to the cable so that the ground pin matches up with the ground of the camera, and the digital pin matches up with the shutter of the camera. When the microcontroller sends a low signal to the digital pin, the camera shutter should activate. You can also activate the camera with simple ICs like a 555 timer. This works well for taking pictures at regular intervals. In this circuit, the timing is controlled by the resistor and the capacitor. And by using a variable resistor, you can make it adjustable. There are a lot of ways that you can use an automatic camera. You can make a simple time lapse. You can take aerial photographs. Use your imagination and have fun. Thanks for watching, and check back next week for more DIY hacks and how-tos.